So I'm going on a trip soon, as you guys probably have heard from the intro. And in this portion of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I will be bringing that is absolutely essential for me on this trip. <laughs> Some of these are accessories that I cannot be apart from, and I'm also going to be showing which games I'll be bringing with me on this trip. I'm doing this video while I'm a little bit sick. I'm recovering from a nasty cold. Luckily, it is not the C word who shall not be named. <laughs> but I'm snuggling out to my dog a little since I'm going to be away from her quite a lot soon. I'm going to miss her terribly. My parents are gonna take amazing care of her, but I'm still gonna miss her and she's going to be helping me a little bit to pack. So yes, if my voice is a little strange, I do apologize. It's still recovering. I have lost it for almost a week and a half now. It's still coming back just a little bit at a time. <laughs> I'm going to be switching the camera angle so that you guys can see what I'm doing and what I'm preparing. Before I switch the camera angle, I'm just going to grab my Switch Lite as well as my 3DS because these are the consoles I'm bringing. I also did lay them out. This doesn't look like this usually because my room is a mess and I'd rather just grab them like this instead of showing you guys a messy room that's getting ready to go. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do when I travel is to put things in little pouches, especially when it comes to electronics. But my old one kind of got ripped, so I needed a new one. So I went to Walmart, and this is the one that I picked. It is not very big, so I'm hoping it fits everything well, but we'll see. So I'll just be putting this off to the side for a couple minutes. And now I'll just show you guys which consoles I'll be bringing with me. First up, for my Switch. This is the case that I'm bringing, and I do highly recommend when you're traveling, especially when you're traveling abroad, to get cases that are slimmer so that you have more room in your carry-on or backpack or whatever luggage you're using. This is also my first flight out of country and my first flight ever, so maybe don't rely on anything I say too much. <laughs> but inside here is my blue switch light with the little thumb grips I showed in another video before. And if I put this off to the side, just like right there, <laughs> This is what the case looks like. It has lots of room and then you can fit eight games, which honestly is a perfect quantity. If you're traveling, you don't necessarily need um, 20 to 30 games. You can just bring a few that you really love or that you've been wanting to play and do that. So this is my Switch Lite. Now another console I'll be traveling with is my 3DS XL, which is in this case. It is as slim as I could find in today's market for cases because there's not a lot. I'll be linking them down below if they're still available. I highly recommend them. On the case itself, it says new 2DS XL, but trust me, it fits a 3DS XL or even a 3DS because I did buy one for my mom. And in it, I have my 3DS XL that I've unboxed recently that I bought to travel. Oh my gosh. Here. And... As you can see, the elastics are what was holding the 3DS. And then you have slots for, again, 8 games, which is a great quantity, plus both of them, you can keep one in the console itself, so that makes 9. <laughs> so this is the case that I'll be bringing, and then this is the console. So I'm bringing a 3DS XL, and I'm very excited. It'll give me so much time to finally game again on my 3DS, because I've been wanting to get back into it even more and finding time and a vacation is just what I needed. <laughs> so now that I've showed you both the consoles I'll be bringing, I'll now be showing you how I'm going to pack the cables for both of them. Now my cables will all go in here, which I need to take the tag off. You can buy any pencil case. I, I buy pencil cases, they're cheap and they fit what I need them to fit. Or at least I hope so, because this is the first time I've had to buy a new one in years. So I'm hoping it fits them all properly. And I'm just gonna chuck this. And now to see if all the cables, the necessary cables I need to bring, can fit. My biggest concern is honestly the Switch Lite charger, because it is a big brick. But if I'm being honest, I might just skip bringing the big brick one. And since the, the Switch Pro controller has the same 
charging port. I might just bring that one as it doesn't come with a massive brick like this. Especially because I'm bringing a charging brick already that has two slots, so it should be fine. I'm also planning on fitting my phone charger, my watch charger, and my brick that I'll be using in this. So I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like with the big brick, but legitimately I'm probably going to just use the this one. It'll be way easier and take less room. With the 3DS, I also need my 3DS charger. So it does, wow, it does fit a lot better than I thought, if I'm being honest. And the Switch now has Bluetooth wireless headphone listening, which is amazing, but the 3DS does not. So I am going to be putting my headphones, which I'll also be using to edit in here, because this is my electronics pouch, so I need to put every electronic thing in here. I wasn't going to show it, but I kind of just want to see for myself as well if everything fits. So I'm just going to put my watch charger in here, which is, ooh, it's bouncing. And then this is the charging brick I'll be bringing, which has two slots. And why I don't think I'll be bringing the, this charger. And the only thing I'm missing is my charger for my phone, but the short charger is currently in my Jeep, whilst my charger for my room is 10 feet long and I'm not bringing a 10 feet long charger so it should all fit. Hey I'm actually quite happy about this. I wasn't sure if it was all gonna fit and it all fits with the big brick so I'll be good to just put my smaller charger in there. Closing test and everything fits very well. I'm actually super happy about this. Just put it right here. Now the next thing I have to look into that is essential for traveling when you're bringing video games is the games themselves. You can have the consoles, but you do need to bring some games to play those consoles. And as you can see right now, it's currently very empty. Now if I'm being honest, I'm filming this two weeks in advance, this part of the video, because I'm not there next weekend as well, and my trip is only in two weeks. So this part of the video was filmed in advance, so I still am unsure which games I'm going to bring for both of them. But I did show some games recently in some videos that I got that I do want to play and going on this trip will give me that chance. First up that I'm for sure bringing is Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions. I never got to play this one as it came out on a completely different handheld console before, but I do want to play it, especially since I love Dream Team and Bowser's Inside Story so much, so I'm pretty sure this one is a guaranteed you're coming with me. Next up, I had already mentioned it, this in my Yoshi's Woolly World video, but I want to bring Yoshi or Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World. It's such a chill little game that just feels so much fun, and I really want to bring this one with me as well. So this one is, again, another for sure you're coming with me. Next up, I am going to be bringing Captain Toad Treasure Tracker for the 3DS. Never played the one on the 3DS. Very excited to. feel like it's going to be so much fun, especially playing it on a brand new system or a brand new, like, having the experience on a different system altogether. Any classic that just has to go everywhere with me? Mario Kart 7. This is a guarantee you're coming with me. As for the rest of the games, I'll be showing them to you in a different clip where I'm already where I'm traveling to and show you guys the ones that I picked under pressure because I probably will pick them under pressure a couple days before the trip or even a few hours before the trip. But these ones are guaranteed to come with me. This is where it gets harder. I have nine games that I could bring for the Switch, plus I already have some digital games, but I'm honestly not sure if I'll stick to this, but I'll do kind of like with the 3DS XL and you guys will see in real time while I'm there at least what I ended up bringing because majority of these are mainline Nintendo games so there's not a lot of flavor currently. I was thinking of bringing Pokemon Legends Arceus because I'm not a hundred percent done with the after storyline game part so I kind of need to finish my Pokedex and stuff so I was thinking of bringing it as it's pretty fun to do in my opinion. Next up I received this game recently from my brother for my birthday and I'm not done playing it, so I do want to bring this one, so it's Pokemon Sword. I have not finished the playthrough of Kirby and the Forgotten Land either, because I've been working and then I got sick and then it just felt so overwhelming, I had too much stuff to do, so I'm hoping I get to finish the game while on vacation. Next up, similar to the 3DS XL, this, it's a must when I travel, Mario Kart. Next up, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, I've already played Sunshine, I've started 64, but I want to do Galaxy, so I was thinking of bringing this one. Well, the cartridge. 
Then Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity because I think I mentioned it in a video before but I ended up never playing it ever since I got it as soon as it released so that's pretty embarrassing. So I was thinking maybe that would be the time to do it. <laughs> Next up, another mainline obviously because <laughs> I don't have any flavor in my games currently. Mario Party Superstars. I've been obsessed with this Mario Party game ever since it came out. I've clocked in so many hours, so I was thinking of doing this one. And then the only two games that are not from Nintendo. Busts of Fellows, which is an Otome game, and Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero. Will these be the final decisions? I do not know because I'm not on my trip currently so I can't tell the future so I do not know if these are the ones I'm actually bringing. <laughs> All of these will be going into my backpack which you guys will be seeing as well on the next little portion of this video and you'll also see what games I decided to choose so let's just move on to that part. Also to future Jess while you're editing you can have a little glimpse of your dog until you get to come back so enjoy and everybody else as well. Hi guys, Jess in New York here and I'm actually on my last day as in I'm checking out this morning. <laughs> I'm also very very tired and I basically did not have time to do some gaming. But I did say in the video or in the clips prior to this that I would come back and tell you guys what I did bring and what I did use. Since I didn't game, I didn't use anything so far, but I still have two plane rides and a very long day at the airport, so I should have some time. But I'm gonna go set up the phone and I'll show you guys. So I brought my Switch Lite and I brought my 3DS XL. Both are right here. And I'm gonna go through what I brought for my Switch Lite first because there's a little bit more. So <laughs> I didn't game because I had such a busy time here, but such an awesome time, which I will be doing like a haul of everything I bought because I did go to New York City, so that was where I went. <laughs> also, I do miss my dog. I see those little those, those little thumb grips that I've showed you guys before, and I do miss my dog quite a lot. So I can't wait to be back home. This was really fun, but after a while, going home feels great too. So I brought my Switch Lite. I don't remember actually if I put a game in there. So there was no game. It just even shows even more how much I didn't game. I brought um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six generic Nintendo games. I didn't even dive into random games or like games from other companies. I brought six generic Nintendo games. That also goes because I packed this right before leaving which was another reason I didn't bring a lot. <laughs> so the games I brought were, I don't even know if this will zoom in or like focus properly because I'm filming this on my phone. I don't even know if you guys can see me well. So I brought Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I seriously don't even know if you guys are even seeing this. And then I also brought Breath of the Wild and then I'm going to hard time putting it back in. Mario Odyssey, Pokemon Legends Arceus, Mario Party All-Stars, which this one I actually might play today in the plane. Probably, I feel like today I feel like I want to game more, but this was my first plane ride when we first went, so I thought I was going to gain to change my mind, but I actually ended up liking it, so I didn't, and I was just fascinated by everything. and. As for every day, well, we were doing lots of shopping around New York for the first two days, and then the third day was concert day, which might give you guys an idea where I went. And today, well, we're checking out, we're leaving, we're going to the airport for the day because our plane only leaves later tonight. But we don't really want to walk around New York with a suitcase. <laughs> so 
so we'll just hang around the mall airport as I like to call it. <laughs> and I think this is the last one I brought. Yeah, this was a Captain Toad treasure tracker. And if you guys know me, you know that I love Captain Toad, so it was a must-have for me to bring. So this is what I ended up bringing. I also did use this case, so this is for the switch light. Moving on to the next console, I brought my 3DS XL. So this is the orange case I brought and used because I bought it for this. <laughs> and so the first thing you see is my console, which I still love. You guys have seen this probably in my um, 3DS XL unboxing. It's seriously amazing so far. And I do have a game in this one, which is Yoshi, Pochi and Yoshi's Woolly World because I used it. I had another trip right before this one. I truly only had not even 48 hours before leaving for my next one. And that one wasn't so much as a trip, more like it was a writing retreat. And yeah, so I was playing that one the last time I used my console and it ended up crashing and I would go to bed at like, oh my gosh, there was once where I went to bed at like four in the morning, so. I didn't really end up having time to play because it was more of a it was a fun relaxing trip but it was also working a lot because I was I had to do a lot of writing which was also really fun to have time to do it. As for the games we've seen that one now I'll show you guys the three other games I brought which are also generic Nintendo games. I truly did not have time to prepare I would have brought more games, but now that I know that I didn't have time to play video games, I might not even bring any next time unless I had someone to play with. <laughs> so the first game I brought was Pokemon Ultra Moon because I wanted to do a replay of that one. I didn't bring one that I wanted to try out. I just brought this one to do a replay because I, I wanted to. <laughs> Similar to how I brought my first Percy Jackson book because I wanted to do a reread. Next up. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, but for the 3DS because I thought it'd be fun trying it on here instead of going through and finishing it on the, the Switch because I make decisions like that that make no sense. <laughs> and then the last one is one that I have not played yet. This one is a new one and I showed it in a video like 3DS Games Hall at one point and it is Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minion which I have never played yet. So that was what I brought for video games. As for cables and stuff, I just brought my charger for the 3DS XL and then I just brought my Pro Controller charger which, work, which works fine with my Switch Lite because it didn't have a massive brick at the end and I had a smaller brick that I could just put in my bag and use if I needed to. Since I didn't use it, I don't... I didn't use it, so... <laughs> which is the part where I say of the video what I used, what I didn't use. So far as of right now, I used nothing. There might be a little clip of me using it in the plane. Apart from that, there's nothing. <laughs> I should have thought about it before and maybe not brought them, but I, I tried. At least I brought them. It was better to have them and not need them than not bring them and then I wanted to play them. <laughs> Apart from that, I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go snuggle my dog because I know that past me, Put a clip in here of me snuggling my dog so that editing me who was supposed to edit this on this trip and film this sooner <laughs> could enjoy it but i didn't because i was enjoying myself here i was visiting i was i went to the harry potter store the nintendo store like i had a lot of fun with my friend and the concert was amazing so i just mostly enjoyed being here than staying in my room and just doing it essentially nothing. <laughs> I hope you guys found this video enjoyable. Even so, I know it led to basically nothing, but I did show what I did bring. Maybe it'll also give you guys some little tips on should I even bring my console if I'm going somewhere and I'm planning to have fun all day? Because when I went back to the hotel, my social battery was done and I was ready to just sleep. I did not vlog here. I am not a vlogger. Never say never, but so far it's a no. <laughs> I'm even filming this while my friend is out of the room, so... <laughs> I'm also very tired, so I'll be finishing this part of the video for now. 
I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next clip if I pick the phone back up again because I didn't bring my camera. Mm-hmm. <laughs>